This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Delighted to be joined by a legend backstage, Ricky Hatton. You're looking really well, mate. How are you? Yeah, getting there, mate, bit by bit. Got my exhibition bout November 12th, Marco Antonio Barrera. So, um, yeah, yeah, feeling good. Can I ask, with the exhibition bout, how much does the fire burn inside with... For you, how much does the fire burn inside for an exhibition bout compared to how it did? Oh, let's have it right, I know it's an exhibition bout. I, I, I made me come back 10 years ago and um, I knew I hadn't got it anymore. So them days of 12 rounds and little gloves are, are well gone. But with big gloves on, less rounds and shorter rounds, and you know, with, with somebody that has the, you know, uh, the respect and we know we know what the, what the score is. There's no reason why me and Marco can't showcase our talents again without no one getting hurt and that's what it that's what it's all about I think. Absolutely. Have to ask you about your son. You happy with his career? How, how it's going as, as dad? Yeah he's improving you know his last couple of fights he saw major improvement it was a tough start for him because uh, he was getting all the top billing and all the big shows and I don't think he was experienced enough in order to to cope with it and that's why he's performing so we'll, we'll put him on a few um, Eddie's put him on a few little smaller shows and he's found his feet again and he's started uh, improving I mean um, yeah we still want him to go in the big shows but I mean um, I can't fault the job that that match room have done with, 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 with Campbell you know what I mean it, it was always going to be a big thing when my son went through unfortunately you know what I mean but he's come through it he's learned from it and now uh, I think we've all learned from it and now he's moving forward it's He's exactly he's going the, exactly the way we want it to. Excellent. Two very quick ones, Ricky. By the time this goes out, the main event will have been and gone. But how important is a night for women's boxing like this? Well, it's very important. I think I don't think it. I never thought that they would actually um, have an all women's show. You know, when it first started off years ago, I wasn't a fan of ladies boxing only only simply because. Um, I thought, yeah, tennis and football and stuff like that, but not in the hurt business, you know, it's not nice seeing ladies getting hit. That's the only reason, but they deserve to fulfil the dreams, and if they've got a goal they want to achieve and stuff like that, just as much as the men, and they're allowed to do that now, and uh, to see the standard and the quality and to see it flourish as a, as a sport in the, la in the ladies' sport, uh, hats off to the ladies. Last one, can I just say congratulations on winning the Premier League again this year, Ricky? <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, can I do one more? Because she'll kill us if I don't. Our mutual friend, Jane Couch, huge supporter of the channel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jane. Well, to be honest with you, the, the reason, you know, the reason why, and I, I hope they appreciate, I hope these ladies appreciate, and they probably, they probably, they probably won't, but I certainly appreciate, being a boxing fan in general, that uh, none of these would be here. If Jane Couch hadn't of you know dug her heels in and, and fight for the right for women to box professionally and be able to fulfil their goals and fulfil their dreams, you know what? You know, in the, certainly in this country anyway, they would not have been allowed if it wasn't for Jane Couch, well, and that's a, that's a fact, isn't it? That's yeah. a, that is a, that is an absolute fact. Quick and um, just to just to Jane, I've not seen her for for a good while, but I um, I hope you're well, Jane. Love. Brilliant. Riggy Hatton, appreciate it. I don't know if you know, she's been um, put forward for on the ballot for the International Boxing Hall of Fame for Lady Boxing. So, I'm right. yeah, so that's new out of the press in the last couple of days. Well deserved as well. Riggy Hatton, you're a star. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.